Hey, good morning guys. I thought I'd give you another update on my keto journey. This would be, I think we're about five weeks in and I finally did lose some weight. And I say finally because I went through the past two weeks just going up and down, up and down. And like every time I would lose weight, it wouldn't stay down. So um, I'm excited this morning. The last time I recorded my weight was January 9th, which was 196, which was down from my last weigh-in that I did with you guys. On the last video, I was 197.4, but my last login was 196, but after that, I kept going up and down, so I never logged anything else until today, January 20th, I was 195.8, so I lost another pound and a half ever since that last weigh-in, so I'm very excited for that because of the up and down I was almost ready to literally give up on keto um, and just go back to my old way of losing weight which was has always been low carb um, but I never cut out like fruits and um, a lot of the vegetables that you can't eat on keto and I used to eat like beans um, one of my favorite dinners was like a taco bowl and um, we would incorporate beans instead of meat, basically having like vegan days. And I kind of miss doing all that and I miss seeing the rapid weight loss from that. And I feel like eventually when I do lose the weight that I want to lose, I will go back to eating fruits and incorporating more vegetables, more beans, less meat in my diet. But for now, I am trying to really give keto a chance and it has definitely been helping with my sugar cravings. So I'm happy to say that I am no longer experiencing any symptoms from what they call the keto flu. I haven't had any nausea, any fatigue, any headaches lately. My fiber gummy vitamins that I've been taking every morning have definitely helped a lot with the, the upset stomach that I had um, the last time I did a video. So I've been taking those every day and it has helped keep everything moving along in that area. Um... I am not craving any sugar, any carbs lately. I mean, here and there, um, everybody craves a little bit, but I've been able to satisfy those cravings with um, keto-friendly treats that I make myself, and those are completely sugar-free and very low-carb, So, and my family has been enjoying those too, so it's a win-win because they're eating less sugar. As well, I am experiencing more energy. I'm still doing intermittent fasting with the exception of some days I just wake up really hungry. So in those days, I just listen to my body and I eat my breakfast and then I just adjust my calories for the rest of the day. Or I do extra exercise for that day to um, stay within my calories because I am still on a calorie deficit. I'm supposed to be eating 1200 calories a day. But um, when I do exercise, I factor those in and eat those back as well because I don't want to be too low on the calories. And this is just an estimate. Um, I try to stay under 20 gar or carbs of 20 grams of carbs, and then that's about what I eat on fat and protein. So that's pretty accurate. But on the My Fitness Pal app, it wouldn't let me set it to 20 for some reason. It would go down to 15. That was the next option. So. So yeah, even with the intermittent fasting, I noticed that I get a lot of energy after my meals. So that like encourages me to do even more exercise. I've been working a lot on um, specific muscles on my body, um, leg exercises, ab exercises. And I've been just getting a lot of energy, like I get an energy boost after eating. So that's awesome. I've been taking advantage of that by doing the exercise that I need to be doing. I'm doing about 30 to 45 minutes a day sometimes I'll do some in the morning and then some more at night or sometimes I'll do it all in one shot and then sometimes I just don't do exercise at all but that is all right um, for the most part I am keeping track of everything with the exception of a couple days a week I just try to eat um, as mindful as I can still sticking to the keto rules but not counting calories and it has went good so far I still lost some weight so I imagine everything is going good hopefully now I am um, going through that stage where I will start losing weight again because like I said I went through a while of going up and down um, water weight losing the water weight and again I am in the middle of my menstrual I just started my period today so even with that, 
in mind, I still lost weight. So I expect to see even more weight loss after my hormone levels have regulated from having my period and all that because I always gain water weight around that time. So I just wanted to give this quick update. Um, if you're trying the keto like me, um, uh, don't give up. I'm really trying to give it a chance, although I know it's not a forever thing for me. Um, I'll probably always stay low carb, but I do miss my fruits. I do miss things, other sources of protein like beans. I know there's other things like tofu and all that, but I don't really like those. I'd rather eat beans instead of tofu or any other um, whatever low carb protein options there is. I guess I gotta do some more research. But like sometimes I like to take a break from meat and eggs and um, just stick to low carb vegetables and I do enjoy like something as simple as oatmeal with fruits for breakfast so those are the only parts I don't like about keto I don't like how restrictive it is but for the sake of it I'm trying to stick to it I have noticed that I go back and forth sometimes I wake up really hungry and um, stay pretty hungry throughout the day so I eat my three meals maybe fit in some snacks but I'm still trying to stay under my calorie goals and sometimes I am not hungry at all and I can fast up until 2 o'clock in the afternoon and eat my first meal then. So that's pretty cool. It's just a matter of taking a day by day and listening to your body. And your body will tell you what it needs more of. Um, if you need more protein, if you need more vegetables, you'll start craving that kind of stuff. The only cravings that I'm trying not to give into, of course, is sugar and carbs. So whenever I do get one of those cravings, I just whip up something in the kitchen, um, something keto friendly, a little dessert or something sugar free based on whatever I am craving. So that's my update for today. Um, everything is going good and I hope everything is going good with you as well. I will be back in another two weeks for another update. And I will continue to do what I am doing at a calorie deficit and I will continue incorporating ex exercise every single day and working on my water intake. So until next time, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.